Howdy there folks, how are y'all doing? My name is Reese and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to download and install the AT Launcher and set up the Sevtech Ages mod pack for Minecraft. We're going to start off here on Windows 10 and we're going to launch our browser of choice. So obviously Chrome would be the best option, but if you hate yourself, Edge also technically works for this as well. So what you're going to do is go to the AT Launcher and I will have this linked in the description. Go ahead to the download section and scroll down where you will find the link for the Linux, Mac, and others option. So if you want to play it on a Linux or Mac system or perhaps a toaster or one of those fancy refrigerators with a screen, a potato, anything at all, you can download the jar. Because we're on Windows, we're going to click Windows.exe. And because we are on the Edge browser, it's going to prompt us to either run or save. We're going to click save and it's going to do a quick security scan. Once that's done, it's going to put in our downloads folder. So if you click view downloads, it'll show downloads over here in the corner. We don't want to do that. We want to wait just a second. If you don't know where the file is saved to, I would recommend checking your downloads folder. It's possible that maybe you've changed it by default. And if that's the case, I can't help you. I don't know where it is. I've, I've, I've never used your computer, so I wouldn't know. Best thing you can do is just click open folder and whatever folder it's in, look at that, it automatically takes you there. So this is the AD, atlauncher.exe, you can double click on that. However, it will prompt you to have it in its own folder, which is pretty simple. Just click, whoops, I'll change that right now. Right click on your screen, go to new, create folder, and you can name this anything you want to. I will name it AT Launcher, which is pretty simple. We're going to drop this in there, boom, and you can actually put this folder anywhere you want to. I'm actually going to put my folder right here on the local disk, right here on the root. You don't have to put it there. In fact, you might want to just put it on the desktop where you can get to it easily. The reason that it prompts us to automatically put it in its own folder is because once we open it, and you'll see what I mean here, it's going to spawn a whole bunch of other files and it needs these files to run. Obviously, if you put them all on your desktop or in some random folder, it's going to be hard to keep track of them. I put mine on my local disk, which is difficult to get to, but I'll show you how to make a shortcut to it here in just a second. Uh, first, though, you can enable leaderboards. You can choose your language. I'm going to just click save because everything is where I want it by default. Here we go. Now we need to add our account. And yes, you do need an actual Mojang account. So we need to pipe in our username or our email address, depending on how old our account is. If you have a newer account, it will be your email address as well as your password. You can click remember password, but uh, if you're on a public computer in a library where you shouldn't be installing random Minecraft mod packs, don't. <laughs> Once you've added your account, you can see I'm signed into it right down here. I'm going to go to packs and this is where you can choose what you want to install. I'm going to go with Sevtech Ages, so I'm going to click new instance and I'm going to click the version. We're going to go with 301. You can also change the name if you want to. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to click install and it'll automatically begin the download and installation process, which depending on your internet speed, as well as the speed of your computer, install time may vary, just be patient with it. It shouldn't take too long. All right, once it's done downloading, you can find it over here in the instances tab where you can click play. We also have the option to edit the mods, but we're not really gonna do that. What we are gonna do is go to settings. I'm gonna go up here to Java slash Minecraft, and this is where we're gonna make a few changes. So. By default, it is set up pretty well. You have your initial RAM as well as your maximum memory supported. You really have no reason to go over four gigs at any time ever. However, I am going to go ahead and change my minimum initial RAM to two gigs, just in case. Be sure to click save to save whatever settings you may make. And yes, you can just click it again and again. And yeah, that is fun to watch scroll across the screen. Just be sure to never set the initial or the maximum memory for the exact amount of system memory that you have because then you could run into some trouble while playing. Always keep it a couple of gigs below. So if you have maybe two gigs of RAM in your computer, you really need more, but make sure that this is set to one gig. If you have maybe four gigs, set it to two gigs. If you have eight gigs, set it to four. You get the idea. Back in instances, I'm going to click play and that's going to launch the actual mod pack itself. The console is going to go insane over here. Boom, and then we get this, and I don't even know what's happening right here, but my gosh, is it entertaining or what? If you look up here, you can actually see how much memory is being used while loading the game, and you can get a pretty good idea of how much you're going to need. I haven't seen it go over the four gigs that I assigned it. You'll see here it shows a little bit under four gigs is the maximum. That's... That's pretty standard. I wouldn't worry too much about that. If you ever see it go beyond this line here, if it ever hits the line, you might need to consider 
increasing the RAM though. Once it is done loading, you can go through your options and make whatever changes you'd like to. Better FPS is installed, so you can make whatever adjustments there you'd like. Music settings, if you want to add a resource pack, you can do so. Check your video settings. Make sure you've got brightness set all the way up because let's face it, moody is just a waste of everyone's time. Now, like I said earlier, I put my folder in a sort of hard to reach area. If you did the same, what you can do is go into your folder, find atlauncher.exe, right click on it, scroll on down here to create shortcut, and that'll create atlauncher.exe shortcut. I'm actually gonna throw that on the desktop down here underneath the Technic Launcher, and you can rename this if you want to. It's a bit of a funny long name there. We're just gonna change it to AT Launcher. And then we can just double click on that and it'll automatically launch from inside of this folder. It won't create any new files or folders or anything. It won't clutter up the desktop. All right, well, I sure hope that you found that helpful. And if you want to see me play this series, subscribe to the channel and uh, look for a link in the description to the first episode. Or maybe it's even on this end screen. Who can say? Depends on when these go out. Until next time, thank you folks for watching. God bless you and I'll see you later. Bye.